Welcome back to Sports Jam. The Maple Grove girls soccer team hoping for big things again here in the 2019 season after back-to-back -back state tournament appearances. And we're joined by a couple of their players and also by head coach Ben Levana. Starting with Jordan Pauly, you know, how do you feel about this season so far as your team is kind of shaping up and getting into the conference play? Well, I mean, we started off the season super strong and it does hurt to get a few tough games in there, but it's better now than later in the season. So I think it's just taught us a lot, and it only makes us come back stronger in upcoming games. Yeah, a couple of rivals played you pretty tough with uh, Centennial giving you a loss and then uh, tying Champlain Park, but is that better for you right now to have those than, than maybe some easy games? Yeah, right now it's all about just working towards state, so it's better to get challenging games and just easy competition, so it's definitely pushing us to our best ability and only making us better for the future. I know when I talked to your, your team in uh, preseason, you obviously lost some good players, but you also have a pretty nice returning group. Can you see some improvement and players have stepped up and, and are now taking bigger roles than they had last year? Oh, yeah, definitely. Since we lost, I, we had, I don't know if it was seven or eight seniors that left last year. It definitely pushes the, the incoming upperclassmen to stand out as leaders and push each other to be our best. And it is different now that most of our team is upperclassmen, so I think it does help us bond together. And just knowing that we've played with a lot of these same players in the past, it really helps. Jordan, thanks for joining us. Good luck the rest of the season. And Hannah Zahn, uh, how are you feeling about what you've seen from this Crimson team so far? Um, I'm feeling really good about it. I feel like our team chemistry is there and just like overall team bonding, stuff like that is really strong. And then technically, I feel like we could clean it up a little bit, but everybody has a strong foundation on their technical skills, which is really promising for us in the future. You know, your team started out with three straight wins and then a little bit of a you know bump in the road this, this past week here, but uh, is that not a bad thing at this time to, to get tested like that? Yeah, definitely not a bad thing. It kind of shows us like we can't get overconfident and it shows us like where we are and what we need to get better on. So I feel like it was really good this week. Obviously a tie and a loss is not ideal, but it helps us like become better. I know you did have to replace some scoring punch from last year. Are you feeling that that's coming around where you're you know, getting some opportunities and, and going to be able to convert some more goals too? Yes, I think um, we have gotten a lot of offensive opportunities and now we just have to like kind of calm down when we have them and put them away. Hannah, thanks for joining us and have fun the rest of the season here. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Coach Ben Levon, uh, what is your impression of this group here as you head toward the middle part of September? I've been super impressed with how they've worked together. Um, it's been, uh, uh, there's players taking on new roles and so the way they've adapted to playing in different spots, um, changes on the fly, uh, and really encouraging each other. They've really bought into the idea that the strength of our team is our team. So it's been super encouraging to see them this early in the season uh, playing strongly on that idea. And you were telling me that even you know in the loss to Centennial or the tie with Champlain Park that you thought your team played pretty well. Is that a good sign even if the result maybe doesn't show it? Yeah, when we when we walk away knowing that we only had to clean up a few things, um, you know we still got the results, um, but we are playing to be playing our best soccer in October. So we're playing each day to win, but you know we're still looking to being at that spot. So the you know tough teams showed us some of those highlighted those areas that we need to work on. So we definitely have a plan for the next few weeks. You were telling me too that uh, your depth's being tested a little bit with these uh, three game weeks. You know, how are you handling that part as you head into another one uh, in the week ahead here? Uh, it's been tricky. Um, the, this is where the girls get to rely on all that extra work they've done in the off season um, to, to recover, um, making sure that they take care of their bodies and we're doing the best as our coaches to make sure that we're helping them do that. All right, Ben, thank you for joining us and uh, best of luck the rest of the season here for the Crimson. Thanks a lot, thanks for coming. All right, Ben Levon, the head girls soccer coach here at Maple Grove as they'll again shoot for another trip to the state tournament come later in the season. And this week, another busy one, as he said, games against Osseo, Spring Lake Park, and Park Center.